Hello everyone and welcome back to Boater Plays Something. We are starting a brand new series today. Uh, for Christmas I got Immortals Phoenix Rising. I'm excited for this game. Uh, from what I know it has kind of that new Assassin's Creed feel to it with a very light sense of humor. Um, and Elias Defexus is one of the voice actors. Um, which will make it the second thing that he's been a main character in on this channel. Uh, I just want to hear the line. I never asked for this. <laughs> Um, there was also a stream where he was like a character that was voiced for all of one line, and otherwise it was just in subtitles. That was in Homeworld Deserts of Carrick. Or just Deserts of Carrick, but you know, the Homeworld game. This isn't over, Lady Arano. I know that voice now. I will find you. Um, but anyway, so he's in this cinema, yay. Um, but yes, I'm excited to play this game. Um, I... It deals with Greek mythology, which, you know, been there, done that, but it should be fun. Um, and uh, it's already, it's a, it's Assassin's Creed by way of the Zelda Breath of the Wild art style, and I don't know, I'm excited for it. Um, so I cannot wait to dig into it. So let's explore this together. We are going to play Immortals Phoenix Rising. I'm Boater. Let's play something. Okay, um, I already did all of the setup stuff. I set up my HUD, I turned on subtitles and all that, and I cannot stand this kind of thing, this cursor thing, in a console menu system. There are... You have an up and down, and then I could kick to the right to look at these, okay? Just, just stop. New game. Difficulty selection. Do you have, uh... Oh, you have no flavor text for it. We'll go with normal, then. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that way. You enjoy a good start and are looking for a challenge. This is meant for new players. Uh, those aren't wanting to exert themselves. I feel like I would pick hard and then immediately regret it, but no. I know myself. Um... Alright, cool. Uh, enemy difficulty default. Health regeneration, only current chunk. Okay, well, okay, cool. Kind of like the the... Halo 2 did, in that you had... One of the Halos had like three chunks of health, and then you would regen up to that, but then you would need to get a health pack to get past that, so kind of like that. Stamina regeneration, fall damage default, slow fall while gliding, so that's all Zelda Breath of the Wild E. Myth challenge assistance, no assistance, default timers. Oh, timers, no! I hate this game. No, okay, fine. Yes, uh, normal difficulty, please. I said choose difficulty. Oh, I gotta hold it. Cool, you made that super clear in your UI there. If I was hoping there was water in there. Whoa, I know what I'm doing after recording the first episode. Beautiful hair. Mother divine. Wisest Athena. Mighty Poseidon. The Earth Shaker. Zeus Artemis. With her deadly aim. Set to pierce it in the heart of a hummingbird. Painted pigs. All of them. Is that a face I hanging off your shoulder? Them. Yeah, it was. Come closer. Help me! Someone help! Someone! None of this is your fault. You're the victim. All the mortals are. Made in the born workshop of who? Jagged reflections from a broken mirror. Behold your god! This one killed six innocent children to satisfy her reign. Yeah, you seem like the type that's overly concerned with innocence. Burn with jealousy, cheat, fight, and murder. They're cruel. Vindictive and selfish, and let the heel of Achilles. These I got that reference. Will be far away. I have no such flaws. <laughs> I'm flawed, and I know it. One stands between me and the rehabilitation of Olympus. I guess. I guess I'm evil, and I know it. Clap your hands. Narrow-minded coxer, son of Kronos, who trapped me beneath the earth. 
the one and only Zeus! How I missed you, Prometheus, my favorite cousin. You chained me to this rock and fed my liver to an eagle. Out of love. You need my help. Typhon is free. You once fought beside his allies, the Titans. Convince him to stand down. It's not that simple. He is even blocking my ability to glimpse the future. I cannot see past him. Go on. Blast me. Blast the restraints. My God! He took my lightning! He took everything! Even the other gods are missing! Look to the mortals. That's done. Those evil, imbecilic, tasteless parasites were all turned to stone. One of those evil parasites is about to save your royal ass. My ass is safely lodged in the Aegean stables. And mortals will never be anything but a mistake. Care to make a wager? If I'm right, my sin of stealing fire and ensuring their survival becomes a blessing. You find your punishment unjust? It's a little... extreme. Do we have a deal? If you win, I'll end your punishment and set you free. But if I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Very well. Let the tale of Phoenix be my redemption! Oh no, not one of your stories. How long is this going to... <laughs> <laughs> my tale begins at sea. A ship of soldiers returning from a faraway battle. That's cute! Ambushed. By an unexpected storm. Okay, so we're going for like the original Mirror's Edge cutscene style kind of thing. The line between sky and sea all but vanished. The mountainous peaks of the waves descended into valleys nearly as deep as Tartarus. You're really painting a picture here. It's an art. Point is, the ship didn't stand a chance. So obviously Prometheus is the one voiced by Elias Defexus, which you'll remember from a very long Deus Ex Human Revolution playthrough right here on this channel a few years ago now. The lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen Nereus. Wait, don't tell me. Oh yay, I get to Okay, so changing body type versus do you know, I mean body just like uh, this. Body like this. I like that the female body is the default. Like in ones where you get to pick uh, one or the other, even though we can you know me at the beach. Oh my gosh, is there something different for each of these? But like, let's say in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Greece, um, Cassandra, the female version, is not the default, although many consider her to be superior. Same with Mass Effect 3, um, same with Valhalla. I don't know what the consensus is for female Ivor versus male Ivor, but the point is, Avor, I keep on mispronouncing it, point is, this is the default, and that's really cool. The color of stirred yoga. Eh. Dark Black Olives, the good kind, not the green ones. Something about the green ones? Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, I think we'll stick with that there. Face like. Let's see. A face I can see in my mind. 
You know, an <laughs> So, I mean, like, this is the character, but they're definitely... A sharp bird. I mean, there's very little variation across all of these. Like, there's a bit, but not much at all, so... Yeah, we'll just keep with the default, I guess. Um, eyes. I like the yellow eye thing. Uh, let's see here. Do we go with the default brown? I think we'll... We might just stick with defaults. I'm not sure. I might have lightened her skin a shade, but I'm not. I don't think so. Not sure. Anyway, hair! I don't know. I say we'll stick with defaults, but... Ooh, okay, cool. Options. Um, that one's the default. Oh, I like it. She's pretty. Nice. Good options available. A waterfall on the cliffs of Santarin. Conventionally pretty, but I think I'm liking more the default look better. Um Yeah, that works for Valhalla. We'll stick with this. Yeah. Hey, character customization. We'll do it exactly the same. All right. The storm. Wake up. I have to wake up. The storm. Wake up. I have to wake up. So, voices, you can pick either one. It's not tied to something specifically, and that's nice. Um, okay. Bareface, uh, no tattoo is the default. I do. Usually, whenever possible, I go with a nose scar because I, I have a very, very slight one up here from, from a lightsaber. Um, oh, that's a nice look. On the side there. Oh god, just this portrait looks into my soul a little hard. Um, it's, I do like this. No, we'll keep that. We'll keep this, this fresh-faced newbie, not scarred, not painted, not nothing. Yeah, I mean, the default is fine. Thin as Tantalus. And matching the hair color. You know what, I didn't even look at changing the hair color, but like... Burning! Just burn! Dark as day. Light? Oh, Zeus. The color uh, of Poseidon's vomit. <laughs> Burnt out. Oof. The color of cold. Yeah, we'll keep the standard. Just they did they did a good job with the default character design. <laughs> like no, 100% no on all of this. Like Apollo's chest hair. Oh, hell no, obviously. No. Uh, oh, cool. It's just, yeah, that's, that's, look at that default. Maybe we lighten the skin by one shade, I'm not sure. There, I see her clear as day. <clears throat> the lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a skirmish, a teller of tales, not a doer of deeds. Phoenix. What a name! Phoenix! Sounds like the sound a dumb bird makes when it lights itself on fire! Which would be ridiculous! <laughs> Although, I should write that down. 
washed up on an unknown shore, Phoenix awoke. I think a lot of your enjoyment of this game is going to be in how much you enjoy the dual narrator thing. She went from passed out and nearly drowned to standing up and yelling really fast. Any loot? Any loot? Ooh, jumpy jumpy. And we are a lot further away than, like, so I'm playing Assassin's Creed Origins right now. Uh, we're a lot further away than we would have been from Bayek. This feels not quite as smooth. The jump arc feels... Oh! If I hold A, it stays up there longer. That's interesting. Yeah, there's a, there's a stamina bar. Okay, that's what that is. Ooh, pretty. Alright, we, um, hi. Shove. What are you looking at? Of course, I decided Phoenix not to do Breath of the Wild because it was this big open thing. In the distance, through a trick of the light, she could almost see them waving and calling to her. Phoenix, again. You may not be your brother Ligiron, but I will make something of you yet. Hold my shield. Try not to drop it this time. And yet, I'm gonna be doing this. Don't let them get to you. They're just jealous. It's not often someone has a brother like yours. Ooh. My brother going to be an important part of the story, or? Can you hear me? You've gone cold. What magic is this? Legiron, where are you, brother? So this sets up the Legend of Zelda basically being alone in the world for the most part thing. Phoenix was right. That was Breath. Of I don't know. I only played half an hour of Breath of the Wild. I don't know. I have to be calm. But there's not like villages and NPCs and stuff in that one, as I recall. I don't know. Use the compass to locate objectives. Yep, that's up there. Okay. Um, so obviously it wants us to go that way. And just as obviously... Let's see, are we... Uh, are we climby, climby? There's some blue stuff over here. What's all this? Oh, nice! That's handy. Could just go for a flying leap, but I suppose for now we'll make our way towards the objective. <gasps> What's this? Probably something to get hurt on. Nope. <laughs> nope. Doesn't hurt. My brother's oh. sword. No. Quest zone. Even if you unstone him, he's not going to be in good shape. Been my hero, my North Star. I will bring you back. I swear it. I mean, we'll see. Since she's vowed to bring him back, maybe he'll come back hale and hearty. Maybe he will still be Sans Legs. Phoenix had never been allowed to hold the hallowed sword, a gift from Achilles for bravery in battle. It balanced perfectly in her palm, as if forged for it. Achilles' sword? Huh? Brother must have been good in battle. Is something wrong with your voice? 
I never got a sword. Just say. Phoenix looked up. Shrapped not the bone. By the gods! Stay back! Gods ain't gonna help she you here. She needed her sword for her first real fight. Oh! Nice! Tossing the sword in the air, do a little flip. Phoenix felt her training come into focus. Well, you gonna let me practice a dodge? Well, they kind of fly off when you get them. Nice. Is that health that hits me? I be able to survey the land from up there. Okay. I was about to say, oh, is it to the right that we um, get the blue mushroom? But I see it in the lower left there. I wonder who built it. Besieged by challenge, totally alone. This young hero was determined to save her fellow soldiers and brother. Boring! Can we skip this part? No. Oh, this God. is important for the sense of atmosphere. <laughs> So earlier, I was trying to like press A to do the the jump scale thing that you can do, in um, like you know to, to hop up a little quicker like you can in say Zelda, um, or some of the Assassin's Creed games. And I realize now that it's saying A for eject. I would have just jumped the other way. That would, wouldn't have been ideal. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. Just don't tell anyone I'm speaking to you. I got in enough trouble for memorizing stories instead of tilling the soil back at home. And then the other soldiers. Uh oh. Well, they really don't appreciate a good story. I thought those mushrooms would do a lot more. I'm so glad I picked up a few extras. Come on, no. No. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, I thought I would get like at least a bar of stamina. Oh my, okay. Phoenix's destiny was Oh cool, the sword's just gonna poof away. That's nice. So far, all you have shown me is a mortal soldier who has fought one real battle. And Typhon grows stronger by the hour. Don't toy with me, Prometheus. I swear to you that soldier shall be our salvation. For if she fails and Typhon defeats us, Zeus, king of gods, the world will fall to chaos. There's so much shiny stuff Apollo. around. If it has an oracle or a seer, they could help me undo this curse. A griffin? But they aren't real. Let me go! Find a way to reach that rift. Reveal the rift. Okay, so we look around. What are we? What? Are, hold on. I I've revealed it already. Oh, okay. Different resources and stuff I can grab. Oh my god, I could use a little bit of auto aim on all that. Like I, you don't, you don't need to reveal every single chest. I'm getting vibration as we approach the thing. Oh my god. Just gonna keep pulling the trigger. Could use a little bit of snapping. Um, I don't 
don't like having to manually select them like this um, to manually reveal them. Um, this kind of re reminds me a little bit of how this was done in um, Mad Max, where you climb the the hot air, you ascend in the hot air balloon, then you look around in your binoculars. But as you cross the thing, it's just automatically revealed on your map. Oh my god, can I just... Oh yeah, this is this is tedious as hell. I don't know what small liars are. Other than tiny deceivers. Uh, you get it? The thing on top of there. Oh my god. And of course, like, the easy way to do it would do the Assassin's Creed thing, which is just... Vault of Tartaros. Which is just, you climb up here and then everything's revealed after you press the button for synchronize. And you get, like, a nice little musical cue. I don't care about revealing chests and materials and stuff. I just want, you know, the rifts and, you know, such big things. Alright, cool. That's all of them. Poof! Okay. The stranger struggling in the Griffin's Talons fell near that glowing rift on the small island. He needs a hero! Quick, I think there's one. No, he's decapitated. What about... No, she was eaten. Who updated this Rolodex? Hades? <laughs> Zeus. <laughs> okay. How to get down? The pond. Yeah, in a second. I want to see what this Ambrosia thing is, and then we'll go for that jump. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! And my first kiss all rolled into one. Phoenix got into the Ambrosia too? Prometheus! <laughs> you worried, Zeus, about losing this bet? Please, she can't use it anyway. Yet. I don't even know if I have a health bar right now. Alright, jump into a pond. Is that right here? Here we go! Whee! Definitely not a graceful leap of faith. So I had seen that clip before because Kotaku made a point of talking about how this, you know, not with every step. like not it's an Assassin's Creed a game. Of the heavy responsibility. You gave him your blade? Oh, Achilles. I, I meant to ask, why exactly would you expect to receive a sword from Achilles? Oh, uh, as an offering. Just a routine offering from someone who gazed into your eyes. And told you you were special. That's all. I left a rose on his breastplate. Got something in my eye. Keep going. Um, oh, that is not the map screen. That is an ability screen. Okay, skills and stuff. I'm sure we'll be told about those later. Map with the signpost. Oh, yes, I see. We're there and we need to go that way. Okay, cool. Unlike the mortal flesh, which had been frozen into marble, oh, nice. the pomegranate sprung forth defiantly, bursting with life. A lot of poetry for something that just got a stick in their mouth. Isn't that what the best poetry is about? <gasps> oh. That was a little sly there. Hey, excuse me. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, I see. Nope. 
All right, cool. So that's lock on. Nice. All right, I do not have a heavy attack yet. The adamantine shed by Typhon's minions, metal of the gods, threw itself to Phoenix as if wanting to be forged into something greater. Um, okay, so that objective is still way the hell over there. Um, so, where, hmm, is there a bu better button for shortcut to, okay, so that's there. We've got a, uh, ambrosia there, chest, liar. Okay, and, oh, look, people took pictures. Make sure we cram that social stuff down our throat. All right, um, I'm not gonna, well, let's see, inventory, we've got, we've got a sword. We've got some stuff. We've got a pouch to carry stuff. Abilities, and my controller batteries. Awesome. Okay, cool, so we'll learn more about our skills soon. Next time, I'm sure. Um, so to see that, make sure to subscribe right here. I'm enjoying this game so far, and I have a sinking feeling it's going to be another long-running game here on the channel. But that's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the humor. Um, it is just right for me. If it's not right for you, then I apologize. Um, when I first started the game, it let me adjust the size of the HUD on my screen, how wide it went, and I feel like it's pushing it a little bit, so I may bring that in a bit between episodes. For you guys, it'll be fine, because my thing's overscanning, so anyway, I'll deal with all that. Um, all you need to do is to subscribe down below, and I will see you next week right here. Be sure to follow on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.com slash Boaterbug. Watch live at Twitch.tv slash Boaterbug. And support me at Patreon and Ko-Fi.com slash Boaterbug if you feel that I have earned your support. And if I didn't earn it by just kicking the tripod right there, then that's fine too. Leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody!